I'm cute because I'm light skinned and this is the part where I'm about to drag a lot of y'all and a lot of y'all are going to be mad and I don't give a all of my cherry bombs it is me cherry and i'm back with another video to talk about and drag this cringy ass bitch okay period i don't care i'm not holding back you're getting dragged today this is your tape okay um i personally don't have anything against this person but i just when it comes to this topic in general it just certain things need to be said okay and i'm about to say them because y'all know on my channel i'm very real and i don't give so if you are new to my channel please go ahead and hit the subscribe button give this video a thumbs up so that more people can find my content and then also make sure your post notifications are turned on make sure you hit all because youtube is very uh, much so giving hater giving um we don't like black creators so make sure that you hit the notification so that you'll get mine because i also post sporadically and youtube be hating so anyway um today we're going to talk about something that i feel like is just so repetitive and i'm honestly tired of having to continuously talk about it but at this point it has to be said because certain people like to ignore things when it's beneficial for them and honestly that's the basis that's the foundation of this argument it is what it is literally the same thing that like, the people of no color be doing to black people um within the black community and several other black and brown communities people who are lighter within those communities love to do the same thing honestly y'all be acting like the unseasoned okay it, it is what it is so we're going to talk about it because I, I just feel like a lot of girls honestly my color and up are you know we're in this safe zone where it's like people choose to just not speak about it because we're in the safe zone we're in the clear but no baby we don't do that over here i'm not with that um i like to use my platform to speak up and speak out and i'm not about to let um people turn me into a pushover ass bitch so danny lay um this how do I want to nicely say this, okay? She strikes me as, and this is just me being honest, I'm, if it comes off any type of way, oh well. Um, she strikes me as very thirsty, um, very attention hungry, very much so giving, I like to play like, oh, I'm just so innocent, I don't understand this, or I don't understand that, but baby, you're not dumb, you're not stupid. At this point, um, these folks know that they can use colorism and black outrage to get clout clout is a drug they know exactly what they be doing there's no way in living hell you have gone all this time without doing nothing like this and then all of a sudden you're just like mm, let me just pop this out here you know people know what they're doing black outrage is profitable it sells it's marketable and people have understood that um the kardashians understand it a lot of non-black celebrities understand this and they use it to their advantage they use it to get attention they use it to stay relevant and not even just them a lot of these white companies when it comes to makeup brands when it comes to clothing companies when it comes to just anything if people need to sell something they'd be like okay i need to sell something What's gonna piss these black people off? Let's go down the list. Roger, Roger, you got that list of what, of what we making niggas mad. Okay, give me the top three, cause we about to go in. Literally, like at this point, y'all really be dragging it. So we're about to talk about this glorified side bitch turned temporary main bitch, very thirsty individual. So, so recently, if you all have been paying attention to just what be happening within like industry media and stuff like that there has been outrage about a song that danny lay released it was called yellow bone it's cringy it's horrible it's just uh like it's just giving ill and um it wasn't needed and honestly i've heard her other music before like way before this and her music is not 
bad like it's not necessarily stuff that i would bump on the regular like me per se but i could see why other people like her music her music isn't bad uh, but this was distasteful very cringy giving very um i'm intimidated by your ex and i feel the need to let everybody know that oh this person is with me now and it's giving very i'm cute because i'm light-skinned and this is the part where i'm about to drag a lot of y'all and a lot of y'all are going to be mad and i don't give a damn i should have said this in my unpopular opinions video because this is something i've been saying for years and it just needs to be said and um if you want to unsubscribe after this i really don't care be in your feelings i'm not gonna lose no sleep i promise you there are women out here and i'm not even gonna say a lot because i really feel like it's maybe like 50 50 that it's like baby okay i mean this in the nicest way possible you're not cute you're just light skin literally and a lot of these women form like this whole personality and persona around the fact that they are light skin and that's literally all they be having to offer now in danny lay's situation or case i'm gonna say honestly i feel like she's a very average looking woman i'm not gonna say that she's not cute um she's definitely she's not ugly she's average she's just light skin and so you know she fits that mixed girl aesthetic i can't continue on because everything else is very much so normal um, and it doesn't really stand out that much. Y'all, I'm so, I'm so tired of the antics. Honestly, the theatrics and the antics are working my everlasting nerve when it comes to people pur purposely pissing off black people, especially black women, because they know that it's going to be no repercussions for it. It's just going to be a short-term outrage and then everybody forgets and nobody takes it serious when it's just us who's mad. So um they know they can do it use it for the come up use it for whatever they're trying to bait people into seeing and then keep pushing right about their day so that is very irritating it's very annoying um tired with the t so she made this song and the song is basically um what did it say like something like yellow bone i'm what he wants yellow bone is what so something like that is what he wants so oh my god I just want to uplift my light skin queens <laughs> which I found extremely weird because <laughs> I don't understand what people don't understand about colorism okay um if a white person were to make a song and it was specifically targeted to uplift white people as in uh, maybe if it was giving kkk anthem um if it was giving neo-nazi um tunes we would not say like those same people would not say oh i just feel like white people needed a song to uplift them because everybody else every other race has songs to uplift them um every other race has songs to uplift them because they are not the oppressor they're not the ones oh doing the oppressing they're not the ones beating the other race into the ground so or um stopping them from advancing so therefore i just i'm not understanding why you would feel like light-skinned women who are already super praised and reap the benefits of colorism to the highest 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 degree would need a song to uplift the light-skinned queens what it, it literally doesn't even make sense it literally doesn't make sense and before i even continue i do want to say because i know people will try to put words in my mouth and people will try to drag it when i'm saying um and this is literally to a point that i made a lot earlier but when i'm saying that some of you all aren't cute you're literally just light-skinned I'm not saying it. I'm just going to stop for a second and reiterate, reiterate this because people literally will only hear what they want to hear because every time I talk about colorism, y'all only purposely only hear what you want to hear in the name of you just want to be offended. You want to be oppressed so bad. You want to feel like everybody is against you and your light skinnedness. No, I've seen beautiful light skinned women, period, beautiful light skinned women. But what I'm saying is um the standard makes it seem as if every single person just because they're light skin is attractive and i've seen very average looking light skin women i've seen ugly light skin women honestly if we're keeping it all the way a hundo that's simply what i'm saying 
um but back to what i was talking about so that y'all won't be y'all still gonna be down my neck i really don't care y'all still gonna be down my neck but back to what i was talking about i don't feel like when you are the group that is um benefiting from the oppression you don't need things to uplift you you don't need your ass kissed any more than you already get it kissed on the daily so this just struck me as very cringy and also very like i said before i'm intimidated by your ex so let me let me throw shots at her because she is a brown skinned woman his ex being mimi i don't know her whole name um she is from where he is from charlotte where i'm from charlotte it's messy like why like literally it's like those memes where they're like nobody nobody at all danny like he wants me because i'm my skin like <laughs> nobody was checking for you nobody was paying attention to what she was doing um the shade room has been trying to force this relationship on us like they do every single one but nobody's even then with them trying to do that people still were not checking for her so it's like why like you wanted the attention that bad like sis is it ever that deep like is it ever that deep anyway i'm gonna continue honestly it's just another example of light-skinned tone deafness when it comes to everything outside of their realm and when i say their realm i'm saying this because literally like i said i actually i did a live um a couple days ago and somebody said oh why are you always complaining about colorism and the thing is um no they said why are you always complaining about colorism you're light skin okay if you meet me in person i'm light brown i've experienced it from both ends of the spectrum from being too dark from being too light now even if i would have experienced only being um or let me not say too light even if i would have only experienced i'm light enough to be safe i'm light enough to pass i'm light enough to get away with it i still would not just it's not in my character to just say that doesn't affect me so i don't give a damn it's never been in my character like i'm not i'm just not built like a lot of y'all like i'm really not um i don't understand that logic like oh um i'm a light-skinned woman you have dark-skinned friends you have you know some of these people have dark skin a, a dark-skinned mom um etc dark-skinned cousins family members whatever the case may be and the fact that and i said this in a video that i made a long time ago about colorism the fact that you all hang around these people and you call them your friends and you say you love them and then you see the things that they go through due to the color of their skin and you purposely ignore it in the sake of well it doesn't affect me and i mean it gets me more attention and i don't really get called anything bad because of it and i mean it's not my fault if if people think i'm da -da -da. just all the bullshit cringy ass excuses that lighter skinned women think of to ignore the issue i'm just like how can you call yourself a friend to these people how can you say you love these people and then ignore it the way that a lot of you all do um and why i'm specifically saying light skinned women is because colorism benefits light skinned women the most and of course white people because they invented it um but light-skinned women the most and why i'm saying this is because i feel like in my conversations with light-skinned men what i have noticed is a lot of light-skinned men um not all of them but a lot of the ones that i have interacted with and experienced are able to understand colorism through the same lens as um somebody who does not benefit from it because they themselves do not benefit from it a lot of light-skinned men get the notion um uh, which are all negative con connotations when it comes to the idea of what is supposed to be masculinity they get connotations of oh they're soft they're pretty boys you can punk them um you know they're just anything that's associated with being more feminine which with literally it just goes so deep when women because the thing is black women who say things like oh i only like dark skinned men because they are they protect me they're more masculine ah, uh -uh, whatever um you all add to the issue as well you then turn around and complain that people see dark skin as masculine when you yourself associate dark skin with masculinity as well and in turn that's why you won't date lighter skinned men 
because you associate lighter skin with femininity and it literally i just don't understand how people don't get that when you associate light-skinned men with femininity you're doing the same thing as when people when men associate light-skinned women with femininity y'all associate light skin in general with femininity with being soft with being um just just anything that that doesn't reek of masculinity that's what y'all associated with so black women who who think that darker skinned men are more protectors are just as much to blame as dark skinned men who think that dark skinned men who think that dark skinned women are masculine um tougher they what a, what a kodak ignorant ass cringy need to still be in jail he said something like lighter skinned women are more submissive and darker skinned women are too tough and they hard, whatever, whatever the case may be. <sighs> Y'all all are feeding this concept. It's, it's literally like this concept is like this plant that white people plant it and y'all continue to water it and feed it. That's really what be irking me. Like that's if we had to start anywhere, that's really what be irking the hell out of me. And her apology i just speaking on my man that's what he wants that's what he has like when i make music i'm in the studio vibing turning up happy as fuck like i'm just making music it was cool like it was just to turn me up real quick that's how i make music like it wasn't really meant to be something that people took so deeply and i understand like colorism is a real thing and i guess you could say i wasn't as knowledgeable in that topic but I wasn't thinking so deeply into it when I was making this song. And it's like, also, I see a lot of brown skin women making music about their skin types. And it's like, why can't I? Like, you see me, I'm light skin. I consider myself a yellow bone. I just, that's my definition of it. That's just how I felt at the time. It wasn't even a song I released. I just made a trailer. I was wearing all yellow. I had yellow hair. I was like, ooh, it's cute. Let me make a trailer real quick. I didn't think it was going to blow over like that at all. And then to call me a colorist, to call me a racist, is like, yo, <laughs> how? I'm dating a whole chocolate man. I have beautiful melanin friends. Like, it's like, y'all really took it there when it's like, nah, like, let's, <laughs> it's not about that. That's not where I was coming. So, so cringy the apology struck me as very much so um when a white person is like oh my god i can't be racist my cousin is my adopted cousin is black my neighbor is black um my best friend in kindergarten was black i could never be racist i date black people from time to time or i have sex with them from time to time so i can't be racist <sighs> fetish literally get it through your heads um i don't know what's not clicking fetish fetish okay just because and i always say this at this point i need to print it out on a damn t-shirt this part of the video got deleted but basically what i was saying is just because you fuck black people does not mean that you fuck with black people and I don't understand why people don't get this. It is very fetishy to think that just because you have sex with us, you fuck with us. There are plenty of racist and colorists that are messing with darker skinned black people or black people in general. Um, and her saying that she dates a beautiful chocolate man literally proved exactly what I just said. Beautiful melanated friends. Where the PR teams be at? The PR teams at this point, I, I'm really like, are people just not as creative as they used to be? Like, the only thing that you all can think of in order to get publicity, in order to get recognition, in order to keep your name relevant is to piss off black people or black women. That is the only thing that people can think of to sell whatever they need to sell, to keep their name in people's mouths is to piss off black women. Your PR teams lack creativity like that. Sis, fire them. A lot of these people need to fire their PR teams because if that is the only thing that they can come up with, it's pretty sad, honestly and truly. It's pretty sad. Um, it's giving very much so um, desperation, um, irrelevancy, um, scratching clawing into the minds of people because you don't stay in their heads rent free like beyonce she stays in a lot of people's heads rent free um rihanna 
can stay there rent free she does not have to go piss off black people to be relevant or she doesn't have to go piss off black women to be relevant um and a lot of these other you know smaller celebrities i feel like it's very much so um it's giving i really want to live in your mind rent free but i don't know how to do that because i do not have the accolades that the next person has in order to do so and um oftentimes in cases N not even the talent so this is how I stay there it's giving very desperate um it's giving very Jeffree Star I um and itching to stay relevant because not enough people are talking about me so let me figure out which crowd of black people I can go piss off that's what it's giving we're tired okay we're very tired the antics they're getting a little boring um honestly i feel like a lot of you all need to switch it up it's getting old it's, it's pretty boring now we're tired can we do something else you know just saying um my other thing too is them y'all and i talk about this again these are all things i'm gonna keep saying this because i have been saying all these things for forever and nobody ever was trying to hear me until i had a youtube platform i mean duh because i have a platform but even beforehand uh when i would have conversations with people outside of my friend group because my friend group is cultured enough and aware enough to have these conversations and understand um but when i would have conversations before i had a youtube with people outside of my group that i hang with it's like they didn't have the range it's like it just was not it just wasn't hitting like something was just the the mark it was just missing the mark just things that i've been saying and what i'm about to repeat is the fact that dominicans we want to be black when it's convenient any other time it's oh i know black poppy mommy i know black but all of a sudden when it's convenient it's oh my god no um i'd be in proximity to black people i'm not that far from you like girl we tired i'm about to wrap this video up i am tired y'all like honestly the antics are boring they're dried out they're very desperate they're very thirsty um i just have always kind of gotten the vibe even from the beginning when she was trying to basically like just this whole little like oh my god i'm so innocent like i don't know what i be doing like i just i don't understand why people be mad at me because i don't know what i be doing like girl i be seeing right through all that this it's a lot of people that do that bullshit and i be seeing through it every time and um it's raggedy it's so raggedy if you gonna start a pot boo start a pot and own it honestly and that goes for a, a many more people if you gonna start a pot start start a pot people need to stop throwing stones and then hiding their hands and acting like they just don't know what they did okay start a pot that's the end of this video please like comment and subscribe um, i give these drags whenever needed and i don't give a damn so yes like comment and subscribe i hope you guys like this video and for those of you who are pissed off you'll live Bye.